You guys remember that early 80s sitcom that didn't last for too long? Making it. Making it to with blah, blah, blah. We something, something. We did the bit and we blah, blah, blah. We're making it. This time in life, I'm taking it. This is a failed sitcom, people. No more. No more faking it. I watched every episode. You ever do that? You ever watch like every episode of a failed sitcom? And when it fails, you kind of feel like you failed. Like I'm the only idiot that was watching this shit. I watched Hello Larry. Hello Larry. You talk to people all day for a living. But all those easy answers you are giving. Are you really living your life that way? Every episode of that. And I loved it. They fucking took that off. I watched every episode of Making It. My Two Dads. <clears throat> That's actually an interesting one. Jody Loves Chachi. I watched every episode of that and they just fucking... They, they just made me feel dumb. Then I, I lost all my TV watching self-esteem and I just waited till to find out what the hits were. Then I would just bandwagon on like Cheers, Moonlighting and that type of shit back in the day. How awful was Bruce Willis's haircut in fucking Moonlighting? He was doing all he could fucking do. So he was starting to lose it. He had like the Fonzie ducktail. Ducktail, the DA in the back and then on top. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. He was poofing it up. Um, he looked like a balding vampire. <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, Bill, can I make it? It was like a fucking disco ball and shit in the beginning of it. Can somebody find that? I've actually tried to find it on YouTube. I want to say I found it one time, but I've, I've looked it up on IMDb. I can't find it. I know that the theme song was making it. I think it was. And I want to say the star of the show actually sang the song. So he would have got fucking paid. That, that's a, a showbiz thing you might not know. Showbiz, you might not know that if you write the song, like the theme song to the show, like you get paid every time they fucking play it. How awesome is that? That's why Merv Griffin, you know, not only did he write those games, you know, create all those game shows like Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy. He actually wrote like, you know, when you're thinking of shit, that song, do, 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 that fucking thing. He wrote that. So every time they played it, he got paid again. Do you think you, do you, think you have enough musical ability to come up with something like that? Do, 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 do. How far into it could you get? Are you actually good enough to come up with do, 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 right? Do, that's, that's, the, that's. That's what makes everybody, that's the hook. Do, 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 do. And then you go, oh, I remember that part from the beginning. And then you're fucking in there. It's genius. All right, Jared, we come to you. You had a dollar looking solid to me. What did you come up with? What is Kiebert Zilla, which is Alex Trebek backwards? I heard that sends you back to another dimension. <laughs> Sends me back where? Another dimension. To another dimension. Yes, I will go back to another dimension as soon as we deal with the other players. Have you have try. no money left. 